An IDE like IntelliJ IDEA uses a number of mechanisms to help you understand code at a glance. For example, we see reserved words and fields in bold, and colours show other useful information. With my colour scheme, grey is used to denote that this isn't needed, yellow indicates something that could be improved, green represents an annotation type, and bold green is used for string literals. You can click on a type and see its usages highlighted in blue, and do the same for a variable or a parameter. But you can't see at a glance where all the variables and parameters are used. IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 introduces semantic highlighting to address this situation. In the Preferences, go to Editor, Colors and Fonts, Language Defaults, and select Semantic Highlighting. You can enable this checkbox to get the IDE to assign a unique color to every parameter and local variable. Once enabled, you can see your method now has all parameters and local variables in color. So now you can see the name variable is used multiple times throughout the whole method and it's clearer that the PMF variable is only used in this small scope. The colors are assigned based on five starting points, and gradients of these are used to create unique colors for each variable or parameter. If these colors don't give the clarity you need, you can customize them. For example, I have difficulty differentiating between red and green, so I may choose to use colors which are easier for me to see. The number of different colors you need will also depend upon your code. Complex and long methods, like the one in this example, have many variables and parameters, so need as many different colors as possible. Code bases with shorter, simpler methods may benefit from a different set of colors. Experiment with the settings and see what works for you.